Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Cushing, and today this is the third video on insurance basics in our medical billing series. Today I'm going to go through three examples of how an insurer calculates its payment obligations under an indemnity plan. The first example, the policy states that the deductible is $8,000 and the coinsurance rate is 80-20. Now, make believe that this is an Obamacare bronze policy obtained through one of the Obamacare exchanges. This can be real life. The patient's first charges of the year for medical services are $1,500. The policy deductible amount is $8,000. The balance remaining in policy deductible would be $6,500. The amount of medical service charges that the insurer will pay is zero. The amount of medical charges that the patient must pay at this point, because the deductible has not been met, is $1,500. The policyholder, the patient, still has $6,500 of future medical service charges that he or she still must pay directly before the deductible of $8,000 is met. And the insurer then becomes obligated to pay for medical services. Example two, it's later in the policy year and the patient now incurs unexpected medical expenses of $12,000. The deductible remaining is $6,500. The balance after the deductible is met is $5,500. The amount of coinsurance payment, 20% that the patient must pay, is $1,100. The amount that the insurance company is obligated to pay, 80%, is $4,400. So at this point, in this claim, the patient's total payments would be $7,600. The insurer's total payments on this claim would be $4,400. Example three is two months later. The patient sprains his or her ankle and incurs charges amounting to $350 for x-rays and physician services. The remaining deductible on the policy is zero. The patient's co-insurance payment is 20% or $70. The insurer's co-insurance payment, 80%, is $280. So the patient would pay $70 and the insurer would pay $280 on this last claim. Well, I hope this gives you an idea of how the insurer calculates its obligations under an indemnity plan. Thank you, have a good day.